Hello YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. And today's video is really exciting because my bedroom is finally done and I am so happy with how it came out. This makeover is super renter friendly, so we're not painting anything and we're not making a single hole in the walls. So I have a really awesome hack that you can do to hang up curtain rods in your space and I think it'll just make all the difference. So if you watched my last video, I actually showed you how I planned out this space and also gave a sneak peek of the mood board. So here's the goal of the room. I really wanted it to be cozy, bright, and inviting. And honestly, I think the room came out better than what I could have planned in my mood board. It's my favorite makeover that I've ever done. And I'm really excited to show it to you guys. I think you guys will love it. But before I show you guys the transformation, let's take a look at what it looked like before. All right, so starting from the front door, which is a sliding door. So if you guys watched the apartment tour, you'll know that this whole wall is a sliding door slash window. I don't really know what it's called. So if we pan over, there's actually another entrance, which is our closet slash bathroom area. And that is under construction right now. So I can't wait to show you guys what I do to that area. But there are two entrances. So this door and then these three doors, which mostly we'll just use this door to get in. That is one of these challenges of this bedroom is that it's a little bit smaller. And the fact that we have this, which opens it up and makes it larger, but then we can't really decorate this wall. So we will mostly be focusing on these three walls. And on the same wall is a circuit panel. So I do have a DIY in mind to kind of fix this all up. So I'm really excited for that. And then if you pan over, you'll see that we have our air mattress. It's on the floor. We gotta get rid of it because we need to upgrade. Well, actually we're kind of downgrading because we went from a king to a queen. But anyways, I'm really excited for it. So I can't wait to finally put that in and sleep on that tonight. It's gonna be so good. And then on this last wall, we basically just have a little bit of an office setup right now. I am planning on kind of removing all of this and making this a vanity area. I do really love these two pieces though. So this desk is from Ikea and this chair is actually from Target and it came in a set of two. It was really good and I really love the style of the chair and just the tones of browns in here. So I will link this chair down below if you guys are interested. Um, miscellaneous item on the floor. And that's pretty much it for the room. So let's go ahead and start cleaning it and putting everything away. Hello from voiceover Tina. The first thing I do with any makeover is to clear everything out. So luckily I didn't have too much to clear out this time. And it felt really nice just to make the room new again, especially since it was in this state for a couple of weeks. Our apartment felt like a temporary space. So I'm really glad to start off fresh. So this air mattress has got to go. It was a good temporary solution, but I'm just gonna put it into storage. And we were planning to use it for whenever guests come to visit, if that ever happens, since you know who is still around, but hopefully we can start hosting people soon. So now the room is all cleared out and it's extra echoey in here. So I apologize for the terrible audio ahead of time. So now it is time for what you guys have been waiting for, but mostly what I've been waiting for. It's to build my dream bedroom. And before we do that, we have to vacuum everything and then I'm gonna build my bed. Up, ooh. <laughs> Update on my Dyson, it was 100% worth it. It makes cleaning so much more fun. Get one in your life. by my peoples. Should I do this right? All right, I'm literally sweating. It is now time to build. I hope it doesn't take me that long. It does come with all the tools that you need. I think it's all an Allen wrench and that's it, I guess. We'll see how this goes. My biggest tip for building any furniture is to lay everything out and read the directions. Even though this bed seemed super simple with just a few pieces, I know that I would probably mess up along the way. So I'm just saving myself the headache and following the directions to a T. 
And of course, I needed help with this, so my husband Brian gave me a hand. Building all the furniture in our new place together has been so much fun. We literally and figuratively are building our new life here in LA together. So I love every moment that we get to spend together problem solving and putting everything in its place. Also, I wanted to shout out my girl Janae Brown, AKA Janae Daly here on YouTube for finding this bed on Amazon. It's under $200 and it is solid wood and it was super easy to build and feels very sturdy. So, so far, so good. All right, so here is the bed. It took about half an hour to put together. It seems pretty sturdy. One thing to note about this room is that the floors are not exactly even. So this was a little shaky, but then once we got it into place, it evened itself out, so that's super nice. So now all I have to do is put on my bed and then I can sleep on it tonight. Be careful. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, this is not bad. Uh, this is all I ever wanted. All right guys, so the bed is done and I'm so happy with it. I was a little bit nervous getting a platform bed, but this honestly is the perfect size for my bedroom. So as you can see, it's getting a little bit darker outside. I thought I was gonna do a little bit more today, but tomorrow I will build these side tables and then get in the other big furniture pieces in here. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, sweet dreams. Good morning guys, it's been a couple days since I last saw you. I was so determined to work on the room the next day, but then I just had no energy after work, so here we are on the weekend finishing up some of the furniture pieces. But before we get into that, I wanted to quickly talk about the bed that I got because it is a platform bed, and I think that's important to note because I have a small bedroom, so having a platform bed really fits the space really nicely. And at first I was concerned that it was gonna be too low, but honestly it ended up being a perfect size. I haven't had any problems with it so far, so I will link it down below if you guys are interested. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's start building. As I mentioned from my mood board for this room, I wanted to add in some black hardware to really tie in the rest of the black in this apartment. I feel like black and cane are super in right now and it totally gives it more of a modern updated look. It was also important to me to find nightstands with drawers because initially I was looking at some that had open shelves, but drawers are just way more practical to hide all of your knickknacks and clear off your tabletops. Also, these were brand new online, but I found that there were some marks that I could not get rid of. So while I absolutely love these nightstands, quality control could definitely be better on them. This lamp is another Target find, and if there's any constant in my videos, it's me buying super cute stuff from Target. I really wanted to add in some brass accents into the room, so this was just the perfect addition. And since this bedroom has no overhead lighting, it was super important to me to find a practical and stylish statement light. This one has a mid-century modern vibe which perfectly juxtaposes this otherwise very boho room. Everything's looking really good so far and I do have one more bigger furniture piece to show you guys. And I showed a sneak peek of this in my bedroom haul which was about two videos ago I think and I'm really excited because it just came. I started opening it last night but then I wanted to capture it on camera so let me show you guys it right now. So here she is in her box. I opened it a little bit and my concern with this is that it was gonna come in broken because a few of the reviews actually said that their mirror came in broken. So let's hope that it's not, but it is pretty secure in here. So I think we shouldn't have any problems. Okay, opening. <gasps> oh my God, I'm sorry if you hate that noise of styrofoam. Ooh. <gasps> oh my God, it's perfect. Not a single crack, very nicely protected. It has an arch at the top. Let me unwrap this, put it all up. Hopefully it's fine. Cue the montage. Oh my gosh, it is perfect. It fits this area really nicely. I needed kind of a skinnier mirror because I couldn't really fit this anywhere else. Also, I don't know if you guys are the same way, but there are some superstitions of where you could put the mirror. It's also kind of bad feng shui. So I couldn't really put a mirror right next to the bed or facing the bed. So here is kind of the best placement. Also, funny story about that. I did a room makeover previously and then my mom called me the next day and she was like, the room makeover looks awesome, but also you need to move this because it's bad luck if you're facing it this way. Yeah, it was just kind of funny. So I always keep that in mind. So here is the perfect placement for it. So it did come with some hardware so that you can mount it, but you could also put it on the floor and it has these non-slip 
grips for the bottom of it, which is really great if you just wanna lean it. But I do think this will look way better mounted just because it'll make it feel taller. Overall, this mirror is just perfect for this space. It's exactly what I was looking for, and it was from Target and 15% off. I would highly recommend this mirror, so if you're looking for something similar, I will link it down below and we can twin. So next up, I'm gonna start working on the vertical space in this bedroom, and as you guys can see behind me, I do have a breaker box, and it's kind of in the worst spot because it is right next to where the bed is, and it also has a light switch next to it, so I had to find a good solution of covering this up. And if you caught my video from last week, I actually DIY'd a piece that would fit perfectly in this area, and it's kind of an Ikea hack, so if you haven't seen it already, definitely check it out. So here's the piece. It's perfect because I got to incorporate some of the colors that I'm using in here, and I'm just gonna hang this up with a command hook. So I don't know why they put this circuit panel inside the bedroom instead of in a closet, nicely hidden away, but I digress. So I found that creating a DIY solution perfectly hid this eyesore. I was able to create something in the exact dimensions I needed and for under five bucks. So if there's a challenge in your rental, embrace it and think outside of the box on how you can overcome it. Sometimes the best solutions are the ones that you create yourself. Hanging up your accessories is not only a great use of vertical space, but it also is a great way to add in your own personal touch by using it as decor. So my tip for hanging hats is to hang them down one by one so you know exactly how much space you need in between each hat. I have a renter friendly hack to share with you guys for hanging heavier items. Instead of using one of those super bulky command hooks for items that are five pounds or more, you can totally take one of the picture hanging strips and add it to the back of a smaller hook. These picture hanging strips can hold more weight so you're able to hang heavier objects on it without worrying. For some added security, I put more strips on the top and the sides of the fan, and I also added in two hooks on both sides of the fan so it didn't hang as low. Also, this ginormous fan might look familiar to you if you watched my previous bedroom makeover of my craft slash guest bedroom. It was in the background of a lot of my videos before I moved. I actually received this gift from one of my best friends, so shout out to Annalisa. This thing is well loved in my home no matter where I'm at. I'm so happy to put it back up in our new bedroom, especially since we have a platform bed with no headboard. You can use this in so many spaces of your home if you have a large area to fill up, so I will have it linked down below if you're interested. So my rug just got here and I'm a little bit nervous to open it because it is a shag rug So I read some of the reviews and people were saying that this thing sheds like crazy. So if that is the case We will deal with that But if you guys have any tips on how to take care of a rug like this, please let me know I've never had something like this, but I'm excited because it's super cute. So maybe it's worth it, but we'll see This smells Adding in an area rug to your room is really going to up the cozy factor. It also adds in so much texture and layers to your room. You can see that I'm placing the rug at the foot of my bed, but alternatively, a runner rug would also look great in this space. I really love the design of this rug because it's not too busy, and since it's an off-white beige color, I don't have to worry about it as much as if I were to get a white rug. And like I mentioned earlier, these types of wool rugs will shed for the first couple of months or so, so regular vacuuming is going to be expected. Oh my god, I didn't even realize how much it was taking out. Holy crap. It's not shedding as much as I thought, but based on this, it looks like a lot. So I hope that this kind of goes away. But I do have this like soft fiber head on the vacuum. So I think that this is going to be really good for it. So I will give you guys an update on this rug, but so far I'm loving it. So I had Brian help me get the rug in place and we shimmied it until it was perfectly centered with the bed. And oh my God, what a difference this rug makes. It instantly brightens up the floor and I'm just so obsessed with how well it works in this room. Gonna get it exactly. We are off by one inch. The sun is going down, so I'm just gonna wrap up here and pick it up tomorrow. Basically, we just have a few things to hang up and then put on the final touches. And basically, the room will be done, so I will check back in with you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. It is another day of this room makeover. All that's left to do is to put on the final touches to this room. This is my favorite part of any makeover because you can really add your personality. So I'm adding a lot of decor pieces, bedding, and of course, plants because I really want this whole area to be filled with plants. I have two large windows in this apartment and one of them is in this bedroom, so I'm definitely going to make use of that. So let me go ahead and show you guys what bedding I picked out. 
so for my bedding I picked out this beautiful camel color originally I thought it was gonna be more of a mustardy yellow color but I'm really happy with this color regardless and I picked this one up from Target and I really love the quality of it it feels really nice I'm excited to sleep on it and today is a really big day for me because I am officially becoming an adult I bought a duvet cover and a duvet insert this is actually my first time owning a duvet I've just never had one growing up I've always used comforters so I feel very adult having a duvet now and I'm excited to just put it in I absolutely love the color of this bedding I think that it just makes the room feel a little bit deeper and a little bit more cozy especially since we have a lot of light woods going on this color being a little bit richer really adds in another level and I really love it but I realized I got ahead of myself I still need to change the sheets underneath so let's roll the montage of me changing up this bed So I just realized that the corner where the big lamp is is looking a little bit empty and I honestly thought the lamp was going to be a little bit taller to fill up that space but since it's looking very bare I'm going to add some prints and I'm just going to use what I already have. I might switch these out later on but I think it'll be the perfect space for a little gallery wall and I think that'll be a nice addition just to draw your eye upwards. Whenever you're planning a makeover you can always expect to make a few changes so let me take a look at the prints that I have and put something together. So originally I thought I was going to create a gallery wall in this space but I ended up just using two prints that I already had and again I'm using these picture hanging strips on the back of my frames and these are great options for renters and it saves you from creating a bunch of holes in your wall. These picture hanging strips are a little bit trickier to get everything leveled so I'm just going to use a piece of tape and leveling that out first. This trick is perfect for getting your frames leveled every single time. There's actually one more thing that I want to do before styling everything, but my curtain rod is not here yet. So I will insert that clip here, but I'm basically just doing a very renter friendly way of hanging up curtains in your home. And for that, I am using command hooks again. These ones I think are brand new. They hold seven and a half pounds each. So since I'm using sheer curtains, these should be able to hold them up. And of course you want to use a curtain rod that will fit within this. But as you can see, this has a pretty decent opening. So this will work on any wall. So if you're looking for a renter friendly solution to hang up curtains I would definitely recommend this method I hope that stays so now it is time to finish up the room. I'm just going to add in all the decor pieces that I've been shopping for the past couple of weeks, as well as a few items that I brought from home in Chicago over here. And I think that's really going to add a lot of coziness to this space. This apartment really is a blank canvas, so I'm really excited to add my personal touch to it. So instead of a traditional night table lamp, I'm adding in one of my favorite pieces, my salt lamp. It balances out the floor lamp on the other side, and I pretty much can't complete my bedroom without it. I'm also going to add in a functional piece like this dish for my accessories and this is crucial especially since I wear rings every single day. And to add in some height and to balance out all the live plants that I'm adding to the other side of the room, I place this gorgeous bunch of pampas grass in this corner. On the other side of the bed, I'm placing a framed photo of Brian and I and this just adds in a nice personal touch. And of course I had to add in a DIY so I'm placing a macrame coaster that I previously made in a video. Okay, so all the outlets in this room are kind of driving me crazy. There are six outlets in this tiny room, so it's a little bit tricky to hide them. But to hide them in this corner, I'm placing a couple of framed prints that I actually am using for my living room. But for now, this works perfectly as a temporary solution, and I think it looks super artsy. We're taking a quick break off of this montage to bring you this beautiful new leaf that just came in. I am so obsessed with this leaf. Like... How perfect is it? It's so beautiful. And I also wanted to give you guys a tip since this is pretty low on the ground, one of the things that you could do is actually, let me go grab it. So I have this basket right here, but if you flip it upside down, then it becomes the perfect plant stand. So if you're looking for a plant stand but don't wanna to spend too much money on it, definitely grab a basket, flip it upside down, and it becomes the perfect plant stand. As a plant mom, I think it's important to add in at least one plant to your space. They instantly add so much life into a room, so of course I'm decking out my bedroom with a ton of plants. And like I mentioned, I love using baskets to house my plants. I just think they look so much more chic and it brings in a lot of that natural element that I love. And for now I'm placing all the plants closer to the window, but eventually I would love to add in a few low light plants to the other side to carry out all the greenery throughout the room. 
The room is looking so perfect, but before I reveal it to you guys, let's take a look back at what it looked like. It was sad and empty and didn't feel homey at all, so I'm really proud of how far this room has come. So now it is time to reveal it to you guys, so take a look at the after. So that is my bedroom makeover. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. I am absolutely in love with how it came out. This room is definitely a great starting point to get the ball rolling on the rest of my apartment. And I just love how cozy this is. I'm excited to just grow into this space and really just enjoy it. I really can't believe this is my bedroom. Like it is such a dream and I'm just so, so proud of how it came out. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every single week and I'm posting even more makeovers on this channel, so subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. I'm posting on there every single day. I definitely will be posting updates on the bedroom on Instagram, so make sure you follow me over there. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.